this is Moses, and when he was born, he was meant to be killed. But God had another plan. Moses was an Israelite who lived in Egypt, where there were also a lot of Egyptians. Too bad they couldn't all just get along and see each other as the same. But you'll soon find out the Israelites and the Egyptians were treated very differently. A new king, who was called Pharaoh, came into power in Egypt. He didn't like it that there were so many Israelites, and he thought they would one day take over the land. So he decided to make the Israelites into slaves. He made them work from early in the morning to late at night, doing very hard work. Even if they tried, the Egyptians wouldn't give them a break. They would just make them work harder. It was very bad. Pharaoh did all this and still wasn't happy. The Israelites were still growing in number, but he decided to make a law. If any boys were born into the Israelites, he would have killed them. At this time, there were an Israelite couple who were expecting to have a baby. When the baby was when they had a baby boy, they decided to hide him because they wouldn't let anyone kill this beautiful, precious baby of theirs. They hid the baby for three months, but as he got older and didn't sleep as much, and he cried louder than before. So his parents did the only thing they could do. They made a strong basket and put blankets around the baby and placed the basket and some tall grass in the Nile River. The baby had a sister named Miriam, and she watched from a distance to see what happened to her baby brother. While she was walking, she saw someone coming. She realized it was Pharaoh's daughter and her servant. They were dressed like they were famous, and she had seen her before, and she remembered what she looked like. Pharaoh's daughter was coming for a swim. While she was swimming, she noticed the basket floating a little ways away in the tall grass. So she asked her servant to go see what it was. The girl brought the basket over to her, and when Pharaoh's daughter opened it, the light startled Moses. And he woke up and started to cry. What a sweet, beautiful baby. It must be one of the Israelites, Pharaoh's daughter said. Miriam had seen what happened, and she hurried over and asked, Would you like me to go find an Israelite woman to feed the baby for you? Yes, go find someone who can nurse this baby, she answered. Miriam ran as fast as she could and told her mother that Pharaoh's daughter had found him and wanted someone to come next to him. They went and found the baby with Pharaoh's daughter, and she asked them, Please help me nurse this baby, and I will pay you for helping me. Later, he became the son of Pharaoh's daughter, and that's when she named him Moses, which means she got him out of the water. As you can see through this lesson, God has a plan for everyone. Moses was meant to be killed whenever he was born by law, but God had another plan and saved Moses' life. And later Moses did great things for the Lord, just like we will do for him.